On Monday, July 15th, 4-H and Family Consumer Sciences will be hosting their Clover Buds cooking class at the Pike County UK Cooperative Extension Office. The class is focusing on kids ages 5 through 8 as an introduction to basic cooking skills and the 4-H program as a whole. Students in the class must be accompanied by an adult. For this Clover Buds, we partnered up with FCS, which is the Family and Consumer Science, and they've picked out two recipes for them. So they're going to be making a little craft. They'll be making their own apron that they'll get to decorate and they'll get to take home with them that day. Um, they'll make their two recipes. They'll learn um, a little bit about the foods that they're making and they'll learn about my plate, so healthy food options. Um, and then they'll get to take a little goodie back home with the recipes so that maybe they can make this at home with whoever. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare. Plus, most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. The recipes being taught will be simple and age-appropriate. Programs such as this emphasize what 4-H refers to as positive youth development. It should be very educational for them and also very fun. Um, so all the recipes are going to be age appropriate um, and it should be relatively simple, fewish ingredients so that, you know, it'll be simple for them to make at home with parents as well. Um, and it'll be a lot of fun for them, a very good educational opportunity. So what we strive for in 4-H is what they call positive youth development. And so we want to encourage children to think for themselves and to experience things early on. They call it um, engaging in the spark. So we want them to find their spark at 4-H, right? Um, and so maybe if we spark an interest in cooking at a young age, that could evolve into other things that they could be interested in in the future. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.